On today's vlog, we take a little drive. figure this out yet I plan nothing with these vlogs up in the morning the odd time I have an idea for what I'm gonna do in the day but I've run into trouble a lot of times where I've said in the morning on today's vlog we do this and then I don't even get a chance to do that and I've rather got to like hack the intro or do something different so yeah most days they're not planned one little bit I'm supposed to go to market and stars tonight I'll say that should be going but I don't know all I know right now is I've got lots of writing and work to do so that I don't want to say that it's me specifically, but this place just gets busier and busier. I had to leave my table to leave room for groups of more than one because there's lots of people here. So, good for you, Drip. You're welcome. Is it just me or does anybody else like hate leftovers as much as I do? I've just never been a leftovers guy, but do what you gotta do. What, buddy? You're playing Bean Boozle. Buddy, what's this? Um, we played Bean Boozled. Bean oh. Boozled? What kind of flavors did you get? Um, we played Puke. Oh, you spit out lots of them. Did you get Puke? Yeah. Oh, man. What's your favorite? And Sticky Socks. And you know, we started the vlog today by saying sometimes you just have no idea how the day is going to go. It's five o'clock and the day's basically over. And how much vlogging happened? Hardly any. It's just one of those days where there was a lot of stuff that happened and actually like a lot of draining stuff, like lots of different things and situations that were tough. And ugh, I just feel like emotionally drained. You guys ever have those days? I have those days sometimes. Today's one of them, but we're gonna go do something fun. We are going to market under the stars. Last one of the year. I'm bringing a hot date. I guess. Ha! <laughs> What do you got there? Some food and drink tickets. That's where this uh, ambassador gig for Tourism Regina pays off. They got the hookups. Let's get our food on. When this entire thing is full. It's actually like super busy. I'm, I'm here checking out Market on the Stars. You guys yeah, here? Too. Have you guys got anything good yet? Um, no. Well, we, we just started. Oh, you just oh, yeah. started? Yeah. Yeah. I love your channel. Oh, thank, thank you. Thanks. Keep thanks. it up. Yeah. Bye, guys. See you guys. <laughs> awesome, thanks. See you. It is crazy down here. There are so many people. Can you see this? Just nuts. That's okay. Having fun here. Holy moly, though. Yeah. That's how popular Baba's is. Look at this lineup. It's crazy. Hey, what's your guys' names? I'm Vanalag. Hi. Hi, and you? Hey, thanks for watching Hi. the vlog. Are you guys liking uh, Market Under the Stars? Yeah, I like Just yeah. showed up. You guys went to Famoso? I like yeah, their pizza. It was so good. Yeah. Update. We're getting closer. And the line's just getting longer and longer and longer. But we're getting closer and it's actually moving amazingly quickly. I don't know what they're doing up there, but very solid. It's, it's pretty compact. <laughs> that was Katie Bialy? I think, I don't know how to say your last name, Katie. She's the second Regina ambassador for Tourism Regina. Welcome. And uh, Baba's food truck is actually hers, so. 
She's got good ideas and you should definitely follow her or eat her pierogies. I think they're her grandma's pierogies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the inside scoop on that. Hi, Brooklyn. Hi, nice to meet you. So close. They have beatniks. Can you believe that beatniks? Man, I'm at my grandma's house. What did you say to me? I said, I want what those guys have, whatever it was. Hi, pierogies times two. Two of them? Yeah, absolutely. Can we go sit down, do you think? Yep. We know you love to eat on the vlog. <laughs> Oh yeah. All right, behind me here is the adults only beer gardens, but it's cool because it's all like local, local companies, local stuff. Last Mountain Distillery, Black Fox Distillery, Over the Hill Orchards, all stuff like that. You know Last Mountain Distillery has a dill pickle vodka, which is like clearly made for Caesars. That's cool. There's probably lots of other awesome stuff in there. Oh, hi. Hi. Is that on TV? Yeah, YouTube. Oh, yes. Hey okay, guys, this is Cassie. Hi! And Cassie and I like grew up on the same street when she was like three. I was really tiny. Like really, really tiny. <laughs> and then she found the vlog and found Snapchat and it's crazy. Here we are. Yeah. High five. <laughs> I'm a turf. Just kidding. Take a dash! Coolest people on the planet. Hey? Good, you? Hey, I'm Megan. Oh, yeah, Megan. Nice this is my you. wife, Megan. <laughs> Megan, Megan. Um, are you an M E G A N? Uh, M E G A N. Yeah. What are you? Michael. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. I that's how it is. We're keeping it simple. The universe is colliding here, you guys. It's just crazy. <laughs> you didn't document that encounter. I did a little bit. Oh, yeah. Megan Nash, one of the great Saskatchewan local artists, music artists. There's lots of different kinds of artists. Sorry, yeah. Folk Fest. Exceptional. Really exceptional. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, as I'm talking about you. Ah, she's eavesdropping. Play me that barely breathing song. Well, Duncan Sheik, girl, you just can't go wrong. Oh, my God, girl, where the hell you been? You have better brains. Some kind of miracle of Vexus mess we're standing in. It looks like you're invisible. You guys are gonna teach me style! Do you know her? She's like Holly. huge on Instagram. Oh, Come on, it's Holly. So huge. huge. <laughs> not really. Okay, you understand that there's a little bit of a grind to this, right? Yes. Like it's not overnight success. Tell me a little bit about it's like not? It's not actually. You're a teacher. If you were gonna teach my vlogs about you know how to be big, what would you tell me? Yeah. I would say consistency and just keep going. Feel like you're not making it, you are just Keep going. I don't yeah. know. You can do it. It's kind of the grind, right? The, grind. the hustle. You can't yeah. give up. I'm sure you have low days. Do you have low days yeah. where you're like, I don't really feel yes. like doing this anymore? Yes. It's like sometimes I open up Instagram. I'm like, oh, I can't. Not right now. Maybe later. How do you sometimes get through that? How do you get through that? Um, I feel like sometimes I don't post. Just if I'm not feeling it, I just won't post. I'm just gonna post something for the sake of posting it because then I think it becomes really apparent. Yeah. Um, and this guy who doesn't want to be a Hey, hunter. he's the man, he's the creative behind Teach Me Style, yes. right? Come on, yes. huge part. Uh, how many Instagram followers yet? I just hit 10K. I'm 10,000! Woo! Congratulations. That's uh, at Teach Me Style. At Teach Me underscore Style. Teach Me underscore Style. Thanks, Holly. Thank you. I honestly think this was way busier than people were expecting because yeah, like, lots of vendors are out of stuff <laughs> and normally bring tons, but I think this is just like one of the best market in the stars ever. Nobody was expecting that. Just, I mean, I think that's kind of awesome, isn't it? It feels like there's half a Regina here. It's crazy, but it's good. It's like wall-to-wall -wall traffic, but stuff's moving along quickly. People are doing a good job. It's been pretty awesome, I would say. We're almost out of daylight. Trying to catch some pizza before we go, though. Daylight and tickets. Yeah, we are running low on tickets. Not that we got a lot, but we got a lot, so does that make sense? Got a lot of tickets, got a lot of food. Do you have any iced tea left? Is it all the 
Just one of those? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. This pizza is from the Copper Kettle, who once was voted the best pizza in Canada. It might have been spinach and feta. Best spinach and feta in all of Canada. Anyway, it's tasty. With the last thing, we had two tickets left. Didn't know what we are going to get. We love meat and cheese and like charcuterie. These guys make their own cheese in, where did you say, Fillmore? Yeah. Fillmore. It's going to be so good. I'm going to smell it. It's yeah. awesome. I would have like, don't judge a tent by its cover. Check it out. All right, that's it. That was awesome. So much fun. I just want to say I apologize to all the people I didn't get to. Like, I know there's so many other amazing food vendors I didn't get a chance because I can't eat 30 meals in one night, but I know you guys are awesome. I'm sorry I'm going to get to you. Anyway, if you guys haven't been to Market Under Stars, this is the last one of this year, which is a little bit unfortunate, but there's going to be more next year and you need to check it out. It's honestly one of the great things to do in Regina. So busy, so fun. That's it for us. We got to go relieve the babysitter. Okay? Peace. Bye.